This is huge, ladies and gentlemen. Alexis McAllister to Liverpool is a done deal. Here we go. And if you guys don't already know, Fabrizio Romano himself has come out and reported this in addition to many other people. As you guys know, the, the Argentinian, the Brighton midfielder, has had a fantastic season in the South Coast. And, up, and coming into this Liverpool team that have struggled with form with some of their best players like Fabinho, Jordan Henderson, even Thiago Silva, uh, Thiago Alcantara struggling with if injuries and just overall form, having them to rely on their youngsters. But right now, this is a massive signing. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's get the show started. Bang. Yes, 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 people. So Fabrizio Romano himself said, Alexis McAllister to Liverpool, here we go. The, uh, the final agreement completed with the contract understood that it will be valid until uh, 2022 and it'll be a five-year deal. Now, this is where I think it's an absolute bargain. Liverpool will pay the buyout clause in the next few days less than the reported £60 million fee. Now, this is an absolute bargain bargain in my opinion if Liverpool are only paying less than 60 million for uh, for Alexis McAllister because I think McAllister is a quality player and as an Arsenal fan I would have loved if Arsenal would have gone out to sign him but this is great news and also you have to factor in that you guys are getting this deal done quick and early before the transfer window even opens so this gives you now more time to go get some of your other targets like Kone and and Taram and, and whoever else you really need to get and credit to Credit to Klopp and the boys over there for getting, of course, not only the Brighton uh, Brighton midfielder who's who's helped Brighton get into the top four, but he also is a guy who won the World Cup this season. He's a 24-year-old midfielder, dynamic midfielder, who not only can get forward and get involved in the attack, but can get back and do the defensive work. And he's going to be very, very good for Liverpool. I have no question about that. I think this Liverpool team needed to revamp themselves quite a bit, and this is the perfect way to do so. With the likes of Milner, Naby Keita, and Oxley chamberlain leaving, they do need some new fresh legs. And of course, they cannot depend so heavily on the youngsters to be develop, uh, to, to, to develop quickly and to be in the team. But eventually, they will, be, they will be called upon when need be. But the Brighton midfielder is no joke, guys. This is a guy who's been linked to every top club. This is a guy who, was just, uh, who just uh, helped Brighton have their best ever season in their club's history and, of course, won the World Cup. Now, what will he bring to Liverpool? I personally think he can play in that eight position for Liverpool, in that advanced eight position. And when, when, when Thiago Alcantara is not available, you have another person who can also get forward and get assists and, and contribute in the attacking third. I felt like since Gini Wijnaldum left, Liverpool have struggled to have somebody who can not only get back into the final third uh, and defend, but also can get forward and, and get involved in the attacks, right? Now, the deal is not officially done because the window is not officially uh, opened yet. But I do think Liverpool, you guys have done a really good job with this transfer. And I got to just give Liverpool fans, um, you should be extremely excited about the Brighton midfielder. Now, I'm going to go and show you guys the rest of the clip of what we said on my show earlier yesterday. I had a Liverpool fan and Manchester United fan talk about it, so you can go check that out right now. But of course, do hit a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Liverpool fans, be very, very excited because there's huge, this is a huge signing for you guys. And this is part one. It's not enough. You still need more. You need to now go and get more midfielders, get more uh, depth in your defense and and your attack actually your attack might be fine but just get more depth in your in your defense and you could definitely be back challenging in the league next season because the dip you guys made this season was ridiculous and if you just had a midfielder you easily could you easily would have been in the top four and if you had more squad depth throughout your team you could have easily been challenging you still have a quality team and you still have a quality manager there's nothing stopping liverpool from being back except yourselves Anyways, I'm going to now show you guys the rest of the clip. I'm out. 45, apparently. That's what I've it's been a, a going point. around of works, which is a very good deal, in my opinion. Because people have been saying 70 to 60, and I was like, bro, that's a lot. But 45, I'm Personal it, terms man. agreed? Where is it? I've I seen personal terms were agreed. Where was that? 
Yeah, but personal terms agreed has already been there or thereabouts. It's just that it's now been finalised because his family are now in Liverpool at the moment. When was this? I don't see it. I'm, I'm sc- oh, there it is. So yeah, understood that his father and tra- will travel to England in the following days to get the deal done. Uh, deal d- no, deal so, yeah. done deal next week. His father will be in England to work out the deal. So yeah, McAllister is a Liverpool player basically. Well, not yet. Until he holds that Liverpool shirt up or when Paul Joyce says that it's done, then I, I'm going to say he's a Liverpool player. But for now, I'm going to be a little bit more cautious with it um, because I only want to see these players hold up that Liverpool shirt, man. But yeah, I'm, I'm, it's, like I said, very good signing. But again, it's not the only one. We need, still need to get more signings. Uh, I still think we need to get two more centre mids and I think we need to get a centre back as well. Mm. Um, and there's always been rumours around about people doing their thing. Apparently, Schmatka's doing his job, doing his job well, getting in the players, getting in the contacts. So yeah, man, it's going to be an interesting window for us. It's going to be interesting. I'll probably mm-hmm. hoping to God that we get Kefrin to Ram as well. No, McAllister? And, uh, McAllister. The yeah. super chat, the, the McAllister deal, everything. McCall- McAllister. I mean, I don't know. I don't know Ram's team as as good as him. Um, I just I will definitely tell you 100 percent that they definitely need more than just him. Like just getting oh, yeah. McAllister is not gonna be enough. I mean, Ram, you already said that, so it looks like I'm just like copying you. But it's just like it's that obvious. There's no way you're bringing in just one midfielder. And I rate McAllister, by the way. I was one of the few people out of the world out of, out after the World Cup to say that he's really good. And some people were like, nah, he just like he was just there and there about. But he just fit in very well with a World Cup winning team and he just didn't look like he was out of place. Mm-hmm. So it looked like he was ready for this big step. And I think he really does help this this uh, Liverpool team if he joins. But by no means is he that one signing that's going to turn the needle for them. Like, it's just not going to be enough. You know, I feel like they still need a new DM because Fabinho is not it. And, you know, at least they need someone for coverage. And they still have Henderson there. Like, let's not let's be honest. This guy should have been gone, too, with, with Milner and them. So the fact that he's still there, he's still starting or if he's the first option off the bench as a midfielder. That's very worrying for 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 um. For Liverpool because that midfield needs a lot of freaking work. So great signing, but but no means is that enough. That, that like you're not even fifty percent done with this well, signing. Staffy, hey, uh, uh, shall I shall I give Staffy the names of the players that we've been linked to that have been floating around? The I've heard a few of them. They're more from like the the French league. Um, if, if you can name them, so again, like Taram I Taram Kone Taram from Nice, uh, Manu Kone from Mission Gladbach, and Gravenberg from. Uh, Bayern. Those are the three main names that are floating I'm around. I'm not going to lie to you. Hopefully you enjoyed that little video, short video about Alexis McAllister. Now let me know what you guys think about the Alexis McAllister signing in the comment section. And of course, if you haven't already liked and subscribed, please do that right now. I'm out, ladies and gentlemen.